G'day everybody. Today I'm gonna do my best to um, to just describe a couple of things. Um, so what I've got here is a Nemo two-person Hornet tent. Ultra lightweight or lightweight comes in at about 1.03 kilograms. And um, what I've done is I haven't purchased the Nemo Hornet footprint. I've just used the footprint from my five-year-old Big Sky Revolution tent, which I believe is a lot lighter. It comes in at about 100 grams. Um, what I'm gonna do as well is, um, when we're off to the walls of Jerusalem a bit later this year, I'm gonna bring along my titanium pegs, which are a lot lighter than the, um, the pegs that are provided by, by Nemo. So um, my packed weight without a footprint with the titanium pegs should come in at about one kilo because I'm saving weight with the titanium pegs and then an extra 100 grams with the footprint which we should always have one anyway. So I'll do my best to kind of set this up. So one thing about the Nemo footprint, the Nemo Hunnet tent is that you can break it up into um, into two packs with um, one person carrying the poles, which are actually very lightweight, and uh, the other person carrying the um, the fly and the uh, the inner sleeve. Okay, first of all. going to set up the, um, the footprint just by laying it on the ground really simple As a freestanding tent, the poles come in a bit of a, um, a Y-shaped frame rather than um, an X-brace. Um, from what I can tell, having owned and used the Big Sky Revolution for um, with a number of multi-day hikes over the last uh, five years, is that um, these poles are significantly lighter. Um, it's actually great to point out as well is that they actually supply a little piece of um, pole here for um, for emergency repairs, which is such a good idea. So everything fits into. Everything just fits into slots that are kind of predetermined in the tent itself. Just say what I should have done was to um, initially peg the corners, but uh, anyway, it's only my second time uh, setting the tent up, and the first time I did it was in my living room.
it's it's really good to see that uh, they've got these little bits here which are raised corners which um, just allows you a bit more a bit more room Um, the two ends on the broader part of the tent just clips in. Okay, tent's nice and secure. I'm just gonna clip in the, um, the edges now. The tent comes, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see, but at the edges it comes with um, guy lines that are um, tensioned against a, um, a pulley that's really easy to use. And what I'm going to make use of as well is um, it comes, the pack comes with, and I haven't actually opened these up, but um, they come with extra guy lines. And I'm going to use one of them at the edge of the tent here. If you can see it, just right here. What it does is that it keeps the top canopy away from the inner fly. Um, so if I can separate it a little bit, if, if there's rain, it's just gonna help in an overall sense with water falling off, running, running, running down from the top. There you have it. Okay, guys, from the uh, from the inner fly, there's a um, a piece of string here that's that's with a hook at the end. And what it what it's used for is so if you see the little um, hook tab on the external shelter, it just hooks up against. Um, the external wall of the tent, which just gives the inter your internal space. 
um, just with a little bit more of a defined uh, space, I guess, in a real estate, just a bit more of a defined space. Um, so I'm about a bit of a walk around. All I can say is that it's a good looking tent. It took me about three minutes, less than three minutes to set it all up. It's pretty comfortable on the inside. And uh, you can see the big sky revolution footprint sticking out. So what I'll do when I'm on the track is uh, bring, um, I've got four spare titanium pegs. So I'll bring them along and just secure the edges of the footprint. On this side of the tent, uh, that footprint has a bit of a, um, has guy lines on it, which can, which you can lengthen or shorten. So I will just secure that against uh, that corner peg, which saves me bringing two extra pegs. So there you go. This is the uh, Nemo Hornet 2P overall. Very, very happy with it. Um, they were out of stock for quite some time. I purchased it online from Backpacking Light and um, um, it took them about three, three or four days. For, for them to courier it to me. Um, the Big Sky Revolution tent was something I purchased from them as well about four or five years ago. So very happy with the service. So if you're after an ultralight tent, this is a perfect option. I'm looking forward to um, putting it through its paces when I'm doing the walls of Jerusalem in Tasmania in November.